Hello, Redditors of the Internet, Nobles not here, and welcome back to another Reddit video, and today we will be looking at r slash white knighting part 2. Let's get started. This first one's titled, You'll Never Get Laid Like That Little Boy. So, anyone ready to acknowledge the fact that moms are constantly taking credit for raising their children, yet this has clearly been a subtle jab at men being told to teach their boys that no means no, yet the moms are raising the boys? Am I missing something here? Who's this message really for? Near as I can tell, ya Section 8 moms are the ones letting your little King Aiden run all over the place without any boundaries. We get it. Women don't want you, so you hate them. Can you stop making real men look bad, little boy? Advocate Doogie comments White Knight vs. Nice Guy and Incel combo. Neither one's gonna come out unscathed. Oh boy. This next one's titled, How to White Knight Women Even When They're Acting as the Aggressor Towards You. I'm sorry what you girls have to go through, I'm literally crying because how today was from being yelled at to get my attention to women touching my bum. I love this trip and when we have to walk through crowds, my anxiety starts because everyone's yelling at me, coming up to me, etc. I'm glad that all this is happening to me instead of the girls in my class. I'd rather take it than them having to deal with stuff like this. Ladies and gentlemen, can we take a moment to honor this great sacrifice that this valiant white knight has done for my lady? Seriously, dude. You're acting like you saved a woman's life or something. Imagine dying for me. If it saddens you, I won't. Instead, I'd protect with everything I have but my life. If I'm gone, there might be others willing to do the same. But what are the chances you'd feel the same way about them than you did with me? Wouldn't want to see you feel that sad. Wouldn't want to hurt the feelings of an anime waifu, right? Hi, I would like to apologize for the things my gender mates are calling you. Bye. Also, milady, you are beautiful. You have a great voice. Be happy and keep going, okay? Hearts. And she replies with a lot of hearts. Yes, because you feel a need to apologize on the part of the entire male gender. Gender mates, that just sounds so cringy, dude. Moving on. This next one's title, Defending Gold Diggers. All the gold digger don't love us, they love money. No money, no honey. That has 24 likes. And the white knight comes here to save the day. Lol, I saw your videos in this comment of yours, bro. Your skinny bum could never go out with a woman. Sadly, I think you'll need to cheat with steroids or something unless that's ever gonna happen, LMFAO. By the way, I'm a white knight. I was jujitsu instructor in California in a place called Leondis. For more than five years, I've made more than 100 kids black belts. Leondis is more than over a thousand subscribed jujitsu learning students and they have more than 200 staff employees. I was raised by a Marine who had known the place as CEO for more than 20 years as old college buddies. I'd be surprised if your Care Bear bum ever gets anything like some coochie. You not only make me laugh, you also make me sick. Gotta love the combination of r slash I'm very badass and r slash white knighting. You got a white set of armor to go with that black belt? This next one's just called Creeper. I know it's untrue because so long I was so in love with you. A year goes by, but still, I can't talk about it. Miss him, sad face. Aw, oh, sweet pea, it will get better. It just takes time. I know, purple, it just hurts. Loss is always so hard. Screw him, you don't need a guy like that if he broke up with you. He's the biggest bum in the world and doesn't even deserve your sadness, my queen. Car accident, white knight. He was in a car accident. He didn't break up with me. When you try to be a white knight coming in to save milady and just ends up sounding insensitive. Oof. This next one's titled Does This Count, but a little bit of an aside before we begin, can we please stop with the Does This Count titles? It just ends up being so low effort, like the mods need to do something about this. Anyway, let's get started with the post. Girls don't always want to get called hot, thick, sexy, etc. They want to be called beautiful and gorgeous and be told how much they mean to you, not how much you want to do it with them. Instead of trying to touch your girl by putting her hands in her pants, grab her by the face and kiss her, make her smile, hold her hand in public, show her off like they want to be shown off. They ain't some tool you just use to do it, or nudes, etc. Y'all men out here don't know how to treat a girl. Don't refer to females as bees. Call them their names or sweet nicknames. It's one thing to treat a girl right, but it's another to say that men are using women and don't know how to treat a girl like, dude. This next one's a bit of satire, but I thought I'd include it anyway. Other guys looking at nudes, she is hot. Me, a hero and valiant defender of my lady, looking at nudes. She has a great personality, I bet. Well, guess what? I am a boy and I'm sick and tired of you horny teens thinking it's okay to harass women. 
I'm on Reddit to laugh and relax, but it really makes me mad when I see a bunch of kids think it's acceptable to harass girls for just existing. You know not every boy thinks with their dong, right? Some of us have hearts unlike you horny mongrels. Shogun Luma comments, beta male mating call, you know not every dude thinks with their dong, right? Damn, how do you make the text look like it's on fire, dude? That effect is cool. I wanna know. This next one is from the Brie Larson subreddit and is titled, Oh, your majesty, may I please have a morsel of the holy coochie? I've only really become that aware of her this past year. I remember her getting her Oscar and being in a few films, but generally she never really crossed my radar. Then with the whole Captain Marvel phenomenon and toxic masculinity clash, I ended up going against her, but then I saw the film and I liked it and liked her in it. Some more interviews with her, when she was doing the promotional side of it, I couldn't figure out why I ended up not liking her. She was just nice and funny and sweet and damn is she stunning. I then became aware I got sucked into that toxic masculinity culture that hated her without even realizing it and I can't figure out why I ever listened to half the crap they were spouting about her. Glad I came around and found the subreddit because she is genuinely one of the nicest and most beautiful women out there. Hope you can forgive me for believing those Brie-hating D-heads. This one honestly wouldn't have been that bad until he started using terms like toxic masculinity. I mean, what the hell? This next one's titled, Stefan Molyneux's thread brought the white knights in force. Replying to at Stefan Molyneux, or hear me out, how about you stop telling women what the hell to do with their lives? Women are not incubators, thanks. How is it that some young girl you can end up so wise? Thinking emoji. Lol, you're too kind. Okay, here's my deal. Speaking as a tired old man, I'm officially handing off my torch to you. Do you accept? Ask not what your country can do for you. Ask what you can do for your country. You got it. It would have been one thing to agree with her. That would have been a-okay. But then you had to take it one step further and go full white knight. Alright, this next one is a bunch of tweets from white knights defending Alinity. Like, what the hell? Thank you, Alinity. You're such an inspiration to all female streamers and giving so many young ladies a hero. And ma'am, if you could send me a private message over DM, I would love to take you on a date. LMFAO, dude, you're so sad. Ah yes, throwing her cat and feeding it vodka sounds like very heroic acts to me, right, White Knight? An animal abuser should be an example to all female streamers? Really, dude? Or is it just that you're thirsty as hell? Alright, continuing with the Alinity tweets. For anyone thinking you legit threw your kitten, they don't know sarcasm. P.S. Everything about this video was perfect. Hashtag I stand with Alinity. No, hashtag I stand with Alinity. These people are stupid and looking for a way to attack someone because it makes them feel better about themselves. I constantly find that these at PETA people are hypocrites. She's smoking hot so she gets a free pass. Ugly chick's gonna hate. Hashtag I stand with Alinity. Replying to Alinity and Saskatoon SPCA. Haters gonna hate. Personally, I think you probably take wonderful care of your pets. I'm sure they're spoiled beyond belief. Don't let these idiots on Twitter bother you, and they're just mad that they're broke and not hot like you. Hashtag I stand with Alinity. Hashtag thirsty. Agreed, girls are a myth. It is simply us males struggling to understand goddesses. Edit, what's with the downvotes? You do realize I called every girl a goddess, didn't you? Here, let me break it down for you. I said that us guys are dumb. I'm a guy, I can say that, and struggle to understand these goddesses. Therefore, we think of goddesses as simply girls, as it is easier for us. Therefore, girls don't exist, as all girls are actually goddesses. But boys simply refer to them as girls because we're dumb. Hopefully that makes sense. TLDR, I try to say girls are goddesses in a brainish way and no one understood. Edit 2, okay, I explained what I meant to say and immediately after someone downvotes. Does no one understand at this point that I was trying to say that girls are goddesses? Is it somehow offensive to be called a goddess? Please explain if it is. Yes, it is offensive to be called a goddess. Do you want to know why? Because women like to be treated like people, like equals, not like goddesses. It just makes you look pathetic and unattractive. Because the ladies are looking for compatible partners, not worshippers. This next one is about a girl saying white people owning dogs equals white people wanting slaves. What the hell? Thank you so much, Danielle, for saying what everyone else is afraid to say. Ignore the bullies. She's not gonna suck your dong. I don't want her to. It doesn't interest me. Intellect does. And believe me, if you are like me and are down a vibe and talk about aliens, religion, the cosmos together, 
I will turn you on more than mere intercourse ever could. This sounds like an r slash I am very smart type too, so... Double whammy. Yikes. Ladies and gentlemen, brace yourselves because it is time for some more breaking news! Breaking news, white knights claim women can do no wrong. Experts speculate the self-degrading is for crumbs of coochie. More at 11. If my girl ever cheats on me, then it's my fault. I did something wrong that led her to cheat on me, and I need to work on myself so she doesn't need to feel the need to cheat again. God, women are amazing. They so are. So you are telling me that if a woman cheats on you, it's your own fault? What kind of white knight logic is this? What the hell? Apparently people in the comments section are saying that this is satire, but I wouldn't doubt it if there are white knights out there who actually think like this. Unfortunately, this last one is not satire. Guys are the dumbest things to walk this earth. We all complain that girls are the same and all girls are hoes when we're the ones that ask them to send nudes and screw when we barely know them. We let one girl cheat on us and we immediately dehumanize them to the point where we treat them like objects and still lack to understand why they act like hoes when we're the ones that made them think that's all we want. We bring our own pain. Well, you're the only one who's bringing your own pain by being such a white knight. Anyway, that's all I have for you guys, so thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like. If you have something interesting to say, don't forget to comment. And if you want to see more, don't forget to subscribe and hit the little notification bell. See you guys next time.